Hey y'all, haven't done one of these in a while, so this is another how-to video. I haven't done these in a while, so yeah. So this is another how-to swap mo how to swap motors. Again, sorry for speaking weirdly, it's kinda hard for me to talk. Um, how to swap motors. I have Caden here as since most of the other engines now most of these these types of models along with the C cell and C battery engines are usually easy to work with. Um well so do the Trackmaster 2 engines, but yeah, them too. But the wired ones and the um the wired ones, they're a bit of a problem because you have to use a soldering iron. But just in case, but if you do end up using a soldering iron, please get an adult to help. Get an adult to help you, or just someone to supervise you, or get your parent to help you if you don't feel too comfortable with soldering it, doing it yourself. Now, um, anyways, I'm just going to move this over here because just in case, I get, so it doesn't get in the way. We're just going to, now, mostly these things are kind of, I'm just off the side. So, this is kind of a, Kind of, well, just to, I normally just do this because, and you guys are probably wondering why I'm doing this. I got the hot, the power dash motor. Yup. I bought this thing from, I got this thing from Amazon in case you guys are probably wondering. So, yeah. Now, let's see. Let me open the box up and take the motor out. Put this here so I can throw, throw that out later. This box out afterwards. I'm done. Alright. So. Now, I think the power that. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering. I had to buy this because, well, someone commented on my saying that the black ones or the 24 rpm motors don't don't run very well but for some strange reason about the wired ones they work well for the wired ones because they have wires so so yeah strangely i don't know why it's not working well as you know last time but that's not important but you just watch that, that other video i did but that's not important so Let's just start to now we're setting time and just get to what we need to do. So you know I don't usually I might try to but like I said I've tried to do the So basically, yeah, it's always the same, and it's kind of a big deal, but it's kind of hard to, well, change the motors on the wired ones. I mean, with these one, with these kinds of engines and the C cell ones, it's more easier because. Wired ones. Yeah.
All right, now um, now um, to you know these models are as you can just. There we go. There we go. Please move down. And in case you guys are probably wondering, um, um, give me a minute. All right, now, um, what was I supposed to do? I might, hang on a minute. Though, actually, hang on a second, I'll be, anyways, um, yeah. So, I just want to do these videos sometimes, so, yeah. All right, now that's taken care of. Put it back together. All right, so now we just put this back together. Hold on. All right, now let's just put this back together because and. So, 
I never usually do these, but I really just want to like do one another one of these because because I just wanted to make. Alright. Okay, and then we refreeze. All right, let's see if it works. Mm. Oh. oh, it works. So yeah, I think. Okay, now let's see if it works. <laughs> 